back again with Makina, and I would say we're coming off of actually, I would, I think in in my memory, the best session we've had yet. Uh, last heel work was great, and I just think it's um, come from increased repetition and confidence building and her understanding and she's not so nervous by you guys right now and so I'm gonna just start in on it uh, before we get going on it I'm going to show you a drill that I want to start doing now that we're gonna start doing more heel work because I'm still running a flat collar with her um, but we're gonna go to adjustable leader collar probably um, there's no need to right now because it's not going to give me a lot of value to be able to put pressure on and off of her. The pressure enough of, of just tapping on that collar is, is proving to be plenty. Um, I'm not sending her out for retrieves. This is a tool that I like to use that with. Um, it's something that she'll feel the weight of it hanging down when I go to transition her to off lead work. But one of the things that I want to start with her is this understanding of the process of taking the collar on and off. So I don't like dogs that duck out of me trying to put this on them, any collar, this one in particular because I use it so often. I don't want them fighting me and playing keep away from it. I also don't like dogs when I take the collar off that pull their head back and rip their head out and like use it as an expression of freedom and then they, and they're off running and I go, well, I don't even have a hold of you anymore. So I don't like to like turn this into a um, opening up floodgates type thing for the dog to just free, free run. So what, the way I do that is by just getting them so used to you taking things on and off. So you saw there the pressure, she had pressure on that. I don't want pressure on her neck when I'm doing this. Um, so I took my foot and I just slid it forward. So we've got a loose lead right now. But I want her to get used to this idea of we don't jump up, we don't misbehave. We're gonna get stuff that is gonna go over our ears. We're, I'm intentionally rubbing on those ears a little bit and pulling it out. And she's not, and if she does go to rip out right now, she goes, oh, I got nowhere to go. So that's a good way for her to realize he's gonna take things on and off on and off, and it's just an exercise. No, no. So when I go to put my dog on lead, I don't want the dog jumping up on me. I don't want the dog ducking. A lot of times the dogs duck and don't want to get put on lead. I don't want her coming up and jumping up either. No, no. So the best way to do that is not to practice it in the moment when you have one or two chances to learn it. I'm gonna have 10 chances, 15 chances, 20 chances, no for her to jump, for her to realize that this thing goes on, it comes off, it goes on, it comes off. It doesn't necessarily initiate running. It doesn't initiate fear and avoidance. Good, that was a good one. Good, so I just, this is something you can practice all the time. No, I don't want to turn it into a game of nip and bite at it. No, there, this is real good. No, don't do that. Do that. Good. 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 So just on and off. Good. Get one more good one. No. No. Good. And then take it off. Good, good. Now we can get back into heel work. So eventually when I go to this adjustable leader collar, I won't have a flat collar on her. That'll just defeat the purpose and it gets in the way. I never use a slip collar of any type, whether it be a chain, an adjustable leader, a leash itself, like a British slip style slip lead. I don't use any of that stuff with a flat collar on because it just, it defeats the idea of this on and off and being crisp because the collar gets in the way and it, it dulls things. It makes it so that it's not functioning properly. So we always take that flat collar off. I don't, my dogs don't wear flat collars hardly ever. Um, this is one time that they'll do it when they're puppies and we're doing heel work. Makina, heel. See those ears that just perked up? She heard me, she didn't have to look at me, good. And we're gonna go right into our session. Gonna make some turns. Got a rooster crowing next door, that's great because it's noise for her to deal with. Good. Adjust my pace on 
faster, slower, faster, slower. She's in great position right now. We're going to eventually have, if this goes well, we're going to have Logan move a little bit. And <clears throat> not yet, though. Good. Nope. She's in a pretty good mood the last couple days here. I'm having a hard time keeping that where I want it right there. I don't want it in front of her face. Good. She likes to slingshot out of that. Slow down. Good. Good. Real nice. Good eyes. Good eye contact from her. I'm going to turn into her this time. We've turned away two, enough times. I'm going to turn in. Keep her honest. There. Good girl. Nice back up and pull out of it. When I say pull out of it, I mean go forward. So it's like rocking your car out of the snowbank. We're going to back her, back her, back her, back her, move her forward. I'm not going to let her stop because I don't want her quitting on me. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do this a couple times in a row and she's going to start to memorize. When we go this way, he turns into me. When we go that way, we turn away. And that's okay because I want her to get good at it and smooth. Good. Nice little backing and go. Very nice. When I say backing, I mean her legs are working backwards. Her bend of her body is going to have to turn the opposite way, but we'll get there. Turn away. She does good with that. Nice pace. I slow down because she likes to go fast there. Very good. Coming up here, we're going to turn. We're going to have her back. Get in position, move forward. Good. Good girl. Nice and smooth. Good. And then I'm just going to stop and let that settle in. That was, a great, that was a great sequence to start us out. My neighbor's working on cleaning their horse barn out. They got the radio going. I think it's great because his distractions right now are just extra that she's working, she's already showing me she can work through some of this stuff. A week or two ago, I'd said, man, we, this isn't gonna work because those distractions are gonna be too much for her. She just wasn't comfortable enough, but we're getting, so this is a good, this is a really good example of, I always tell people, people ask me all the time about, you know, does it really well in this setup? But then as soon as I go anywhere else, it's, it all goes to hell. This setup has been done enough times now. It wasn't very good to begin with. We slowly built her confidence. We're getting there. And now this is a change. Just having the neighbor with the radio on. That's a change. Same spot, comfortable, but distractions audible. Makina heel. Good. Good, that's a surprising turn to her. So I don't want her to memorize, I, I do want her to memorize what we're doing so she gets really good at it. But then what I want to do is surprise her at times and see if the behavior is stronger than the idea that, well, we're doing, we're turning in a different spot this time. The turn, the turn needs to transfer, whether I do it right here where I've been doing it, or I do it in that spot that I've been doing it so many times. Good, heel. The behavior needs to transfer. We never did this this way. And look what happens. She's really out of position. So help her get back, good. And then, this one she's familiar with. She's used to us going down there and turning to the right. So we're gonna turn to the left short. Good, good. Help her, help her, help her, good. Come on, good girl. Help her, 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 move her with my body, good. And then move out. Good girl. I gotta be quiet. All this talking is for the camera, not her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. 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 real uncomfortable because these are all new turns and that shovel's going over there and she hears it Come on. there good there I turned her with the lead Come on. good that was a good turn
something she's good at. Do something she's used to. Turn to the right. Good. Good. There's a nice little section there. I made her uncomfortable. All that turning into her, all that turning into her, all that turning into her. Shovel making noise. Ah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Now she twitches and shakes a little because she goes, man, that was overwhelming. That's okay, that's okay. That's just a little noise next door, good. Loosen up, little girl, loosen up. Good, you're fine. Good, heal. Good. There, back to good. Let's get back to normal. Let's go back to something you're comfortable with. So I see your tail wag instead of seeing your leg shake. Good. Good girl. Very good. Now I'll just let you think. Uncertain. Good. Good. Go ahead, Logan. I'm going to have you walk across here. I'll let you guys do the movement, not us. Good. Nope. Nope. Good. Good girl. I ran the vacuum this morning with her on place. She got through it, no problem. Now I put her in the other room on place. She was in the living room, I vacuumed the kitchen and the mudroom, then I moved her into the kitchen and vacuumed the living room. So we weren't like right next to her, I wasn't running the vacuum up next to her. But two, three weeks ago, that vacuum would have sent her running for anywhere but the house. It just really would have freaked her out, but we're just slowly understanding, like she's sensitive to stuff. Come on, come on, let's, let's move your mind, let's move your feet, good, good. Just reposition you. Um, she's sensitive to, to new things, and that takes a little while for us to get past them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, good. But what's gonna help that is having her better understand the behavior that we're expecting. Because we, we're really still getting used to each other. She's hearing the noises, Logan's moving. She's a little nervous and she's really pushing into me. She's really digging into my boots. And I don't mind it. And it sounds funny, but I think a couple weeks ago, she would have extended out the length of the lead. No, come on, come on. I'm not gonna allow her to do that crap. She would have pushed out to the end of the lead or she would have dug all four feet in. And that's her, that was her move back then to get out of the situation. Now she's feeling a little bit of stress and she's going, I'm gonna get closer to him. It tells me she trusts me. She'll get by me and I'll get her through it. Good, good. Good. That's a good girl. That's a good dog. Good job. Logan, you can move around a little bit again. Good. It's not that she doesn't know Logan. It's that she's not comfortable in this training situation with people moving around. She's going, I'm not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do in the first place. Now I'm supposed to juggle that with these guys. And it just it makes her uncomfortable. Good. Ben's all right too. Makina, heel, heel, good. Now this is her personality. Some dogs, when Ben moves around or Logan moves around, all they wanna do is go play with them. And they become out of control. And they wanna go and they wanna go and they wanna, and they don't pay attention to me. So that dog I gotta get understanding, you focus on me. It's just a different personality of the dog. So not every dog is gonna follow suit with what she's doing. Hell, she's the first one that I've seen like this in a lot of ways with a lot of the things that she's doing. I've not seen other dogs do it this way. So some of the stuff that she's, that we're responding to, because I think that's what training is. It's responding to what the dog gives you. If they give you something good, build off of it. If they give you something like this isn't good, figure out what it, what is the reason. I don't like to necessarily always address like the behavior of the symptom. Instead, I'd like to find out why are you sick? Come on, 
and let's not get sick again. So fix that to begin with. This is perfect. Ben's moving. We're going to move right past where he was. She's not been this far yet today. Good. Good. Come on. So I'm responding to things that I see with her and admittedly it's not always the right move. I don't always right, make the right move. A lot of times I make a move that is okay, but not right. It's not often that I make moves that are really bad or really wrong. It's because I've done it a long, long enough probably to realize general stuff don't do or avoid or steer clear of. But for the most part, I'm making, I'm making adjustments when things don't go good. It's just, it's not always the exact right adjustment and the adjustment might change. It might move a little bit as we, as we go to. It's me figuring her out, understanding her a little bit better. Make, try something. If it doesn't work, try something else. If it doesn't work, maybe it's because it just needs more time. If it doesn't work, maybe it's because she's not ready. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why shit doesn't work. Good. Now we've gone right, right, right. We're going to turn left, 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 and then we're going to be done. That's a good turn right there, little girl. Good job. And she's pretty proud at times. There, good, good. I rec you recognized you were out of position. Come on. She's pretty proud when that tail goes up like that. That's real natural, pretty. Ears get kind of back. And she looks like she knows what she's doing. Come on. Yeah, I caught you. I surprised you. So I'll humble her once in a while. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Not a good job on my part there by stopping. I should have kept moving. Come on. Now we're getting sloppy again. Sloppy. There, there's good movement by her. Good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. When I say good movement, man, she just kept going. She kept going. As I turned, she kept going knowing, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get back into position. Good. Good. Do one that she likes. Do one that she likes. Turn into her. There. Beautiful. There's a good little dog. There's a good little dog. Nice tail. It's straight out. It's not super high. It's not tucked down. Little wag to it. Ears are good. Good spot to stop. That's it for today. So, nice session. Build off of it. We're going into a weekend. We'll, we'll have her out to this weekend. Um, I'll run her a little bit. I'll give her some good exercise. She'll have Lillian around. Um, if you're, I don't know what episode we're into this series on right now with this, but if you're following along, first off, I appreciate it. Second off, stick with me because it's, by now you're probably wondering if you're new to our stuff. If you watched our other series, you'll know. But if you're new to our series, by now you're probably wondering, boy, it's not the most exciting. It's not the fastest. It's certainly not the, it's not glamorous. It's pretty boring. It's pretty repetitious. Uh, it's very, come here. It's very, um, what I like to call real life. Like this is not a race. I'm not in a rush. We'll get, we got plenty of time. She's 15 weeks old. I don't know, maybe 16 weeks old. I got to look. She's she's real young. I got plenty of time. So what I am going to do is I am going to continue to enjoy what we're doing. I'm having a blast with her. I'm having a lot of fun. I really enjoy her. I really enjoy those moments where she decides to come to me instead of stay back and defy it a little bit. Good. That took some time. That was frustrating in the beginning because it didn't go that well. She didn't come in the house very well. We talked about that in earlier sessions. Went for a couple weeks there where I almost was like, God, I'm going to have to put her on a long line. It, it take, I don't have 25 minutes to catch her to get her back in the house. Worked through that. Then all of a sudden, light bulbs clicked and turned on and things, things kind of went back together. So it's no different with any dog. You got, you got spots that are going to go smooth and fast. And usually when that happens, you should slow down because things will come off the rails. It's, just, it's a sure sign of it. I've seen it enough times. So good session, gained a lot. Excited about where we're at right now. So appreciate your support. If you do me a favor, 
uh, share this with somebody you think it might help. I don't care if it's, they're training a setter or not. Um, I don't think it's a setter specific thing, although it is very unique um, in that regard because it's a lot different than the multiple series that we've done similar to this from a format standpoint with, with our labs. So in their Goldens and the Shepherds and the whatever other ones we got out there. So thank you, I appreciate your support.